Hello everyone and welcome to So Many Games of the Time. My name is Joachim and today we will be playing Overbooked by Daryl Chow and the art is by Jiom. I think that's how you say it. Anyway, so Overbooked was on my wishlist for a while. It popped up in one of my wishlist videos and then I ended up buying it, of course. And then now it's on my table. So first of all, this game um, has difficult no, has different types of difficulty, different levels of difficulty, um, but we're going to play the simple version and then in the end I'll uh, explain a little bit more about uh, what, how you can make it more difficult, let's put it like that, more challenging. So, what is the game all about? I mean, the name says it itself, it's overbooked, so you're going to be placing these um, passengers onto your plane and uh, if at any point you can't place your passengers, you'll be putting them here on the uh, stairs and um, then you'll uh, basically have some people who are overbooked and they'll give you negative points at the end of the game. So that's like really TLDR, like really in short. But how does the game specifically work? So it's all about a puzzle, right? You're going to be taking one of these four cards. If you take this one, it's free. If you take this one, you have to put one of your tokens here. One of your coupons, food coupons. You can see it here, the, the, the beverage, the hamburger. Put it here, then you can take this one. But of course, the next time if the other player takes this, they also get an extra coupon. So that's how that works. If you want to take this one, you'll put one, two, and three, and then you'll take that card. Okay. And of course, after you've taken a card, it will get refilled from the stack. Also, normally you put these coupons here at your desk, but I like the art so much, I don't want to cover it up. That's why I put it here on my welcome mat, air green, uh, or here uh, for blue, the uh, blue airlines, right? So that's how you take a card. Now, what do the cards mean? Very simple, the cards have uh, locations, so yellow, that basically means a yellow passenger, right? And then blue is blue, red is red, and so on, so on, all these different colors of passengers. And when you take this card, for example, you're gonna to have to place them here according to this set. So they have to be in the same order. Now, of course, you can turn it like this, you can turn it like this, whatever. You cannot do it diagonally, obviously, but it has to be the same. So if we take this as an example, and you take yellow, uh, two blues, and a red, right? So I have the passengers here in my hand. So first of all, what kind of passengers are there? The yellow ones, they are the um, friends. They all want to travel together as much as possible. Same goes for the green. Those are the elderly. They all want to be sitting, sitting together as well. The blue ones are part of a sports team. Looks like a rugby team or American football team. And uh, they are also want to sit together as much as possible. Then you have the reds. They are in love. And you can see there's various ages. <laughs> and uh, also the white ones, they, so the, the, the loved ones, they want to sit next to each other, okay? So mostly, I guess these two would be like this then, right? Staring lovingly in their, in, their, in their eyes, in each other's eyes. So you want to put them together. And then the kids here, they have to be completely surrounded um, for them to give you points. So if you have this card here, we have one friend, we have two uh, rugby players, let's say, and then one loved one. For example, I could put them here, probably not upside down, and like this, and like this, and like this. That would be correct, as you can see. Or, you can do it like this, and then she'd be here, one here, one here, one here. That would also be correct. What you can't do is go over aisles, so you can't do this. You cannot break through aisles. That is not allowed, okay? You have to make sure they're all seated in the same compartment. Now, it might be that, for example, um, you wanted to do it like this, say, right? But there's already someone here. You can still do it, but then you remove the old lady. How dare you? And she becomes overbooked and she gets kicked off the plane. <laughs> it's really sad and rude. Um, so, but you know, for love, whatever. So that's how you basically gather these overbooked people and you can't get rid of them. So once they're there, they're stuck, right? So how does the scoring work? We have like a nifty little, uh, well, before we go there, we have one more special uh, kind of passenger and that's this one. You have these um, icons sometimes next to the luggage. 
For example, this person here, which of course might be, for example, an old lady, she wants to sit in the middle. Now, then you can put her anywhere on the plane as long as it's in the middle, okay? Because these are special cards. This one here wants to sit uh, at the edge, so the aisle, basically. So you can put him wherever you want as long as it's on an aisle. So these two do not have to be together like here. They don't have to follow the order on the card. You just put them wherever you want. It's a little bit confusing because it's so close to each other. It would have been better if it was a little bit more torn apart so you can see they're separate, but whatever. Here's another one. This one actually means a, a window seat. So you can just put them wherever you can next to a window. Once again, if all the window seats are taken, then you're going to be kicking someone off and you're putting them in there. All right. Um, so what is the scoring like? You can see here, two loved, one to, two loved ones next to each other will be five points. Uh, then a child that is completely surrounded is three points. Now, that is completely surrounded. But for example, if you have a child here, and then you have, for example, these two here and here, then this child is also completely surrounded, okay? Whereas the same way, same as the child is here or here, is also completely surrounded, yeah? As long as there's no empty seats next to her, orthogonally, they're surrounded, and then I think you also get the three points. Um, and then we have here, that means either a green group, a yellow group, or a blue group. So the elderly group, uh, the uh, football team, and the friends. The, the number of the highest number that you have of each group will give you a point per person. So if you have five football players, five points. If you have four friends, four points. If you have uh, seven elderly, seven points. And if you have the highest of them of all the players, for example, if there were two players, if this one has more than this one, then those points are doubled. Okay. So it's very very good to be looking around and making sure that you have the highest possible one. For every two of these vouchers that you have left, or coupons, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean, what I mean. I think they're, they're called vouchers in the game. So um, for every two that you have left, you have one point. So if you have three left, still one point. But if you have four left, two points. Okay. Then for every person that has been overbooked, that's here that you kicked out, it's minus two points. And if you have the most overbooked people, you get another minus two points. And also for every empty seat you have, it's minus one point. So how does the game uh, end? The game ends when one of these passenger types are completely uh, empty, they're gone. They're all on planes or overbooked. And then you make sure everybody has the same amount of turns and then the game ends, simple as that. So um, what else is there that I should mention? So once again, these are all the passenger cards. You have the tower here that goes to the first player, just, just to remember who was first player uh, and so on. Uh, they say the way that you determine first player is whoever got off the plane last. Now in, in terms of COVID, that can be a big discussion, but whatever. Um, and then here we have these two decks. They are not in the game because they make the game uh, more complicated. For example, these black passports here these are the more sophisticated ones that you uh, it's more, more difficult to play as these people all right you shuffle them in for a little bit of more challenge and then event they say you draw for example two cards you put them out and then they give extra scoring at the end of the game for example for every kid that you have uh, locked in you get an extra four points or here couples retreat if you have couples like this four points stuff like that right they're just extra cards to make it more interesting and challenging but we're not using that today also you probably noticed these icons in the top left corner we are also not using them today <laughs> like I'll, I'll see if I can uh, make a second video where I make it super complicated with everything in there well it's still not gonna be super complicated but for example this is a rule book these are just uh, symbols that allow you to do something else for example, the plus is endgame scoring. With one extra point because you have this uh, passenger, passenger card. This one here means that you can ignore one of the passengers on this card. So basically, you don't have to place that passenger. This one here, that means you can bridge the aisle. So you can go over the seating area to the next one. Okay. And then here, it means that if you, uh, you can replace a passenger without having to overbook them. Okay, they just go back to the departure hall, it seems like. So that also makes it more uh, of a challenge and also depending on what you want to choose and so on. 
Uh, you can also see these two are uh, empty because these two players are not playing. Also because we're playing with two players, we're doing the one to three. Um, if you play with four people, you play with this board and then you actually have these people hanging on the side. For example, here you have Superman. In this case, uh, it is a cat. One of them has Harry Potter, but it's on the other side. And uh, well, I can quickly check. Here he is, Harry Potter. And then for the blue one, it is ah a squid or octopus. Okay, so put everything here. And I think we're ready to go then. Also, because we're playing with uh, one or two, we're playing with two people. Um, we did minus 10, so there's 10 passengers that have been removed from each uh, type of passenger. There's also a dedicated solo, well, dedicated solo. The solo mode just has you uh, play the game by yourself, obviously, but then you have certain goals you're trying to achieve. For example, scenario one, friends weekend. Uh, you make sure that there's one green, one blue, and one yellow group of at least six passengers on board. Make sure there are also at least three couples on board that must not be seated adjacent to each other. Or make sure that there are three surrounded children. So there's three scenarios that have different requirements. Uh, but I think most people in this case will be interested in how the game plays in general. Um, because the solo game is just some requirements. It doesn't play differently. Okay, It's just you and that's it. Okay, so we're gonna play with two players now. Um, obviously, Blue came off the plane last, apparently. So they're gonna start. Um, oh yeah, of course, sorry, before we start, at the end of the game, obviously you will add all the points and then you will go around uh, the conveyor, the, 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 the luggage belt here, and then you will use these two for the higher scores and so on. And then whoever wins gets this, yay. All right, that's it. So now we can start. Okay, so let's start with the blue player. Um, we start with six of these, so we can already take like a big one somewhere. Um, huh. But um, I think, yeah, it's immediately, I think like, what am I gonna do? Because you wanna have big groups of people. Uh, like this, I feel would be better if you have like four people because it's really crap. I mean, yeah, it's just, to get them all together, I think um, I'll just start with this one. Um, so I guess I'll put the passionate cards, they're discarded normally. So um, it'll be a green one, so a grandma and a loved one. So I'll put this here. And then I can just put them wherever, right? The grandma, she wants to be in the middle. And the loved one needs to be an aisle. So I'll put the loved one here in an aisle and the grandma here in the middle. Just that's it. Good enough. Then these move over and then a new one is revealed. Boom. All right. So then it's green's turn. Green also doesn't want to spend anything yet. They're just going to take this one. So that'll be yellow. So one friend, two uh, rugby players and one loved one. So I'll put him, um, I'll do it like this. No, I'll do it like this. So he'll be here. So I still have the freedom to put wherever here. So this uh, old guy who's in love, then this rugby player who's cleaning his shoes apparently. And then this guy who seems to be eating, no idea what he's doing, or is trying the bre breathing equipment. And then here, the lady who seems to be, who's just sitting there holding her briefcase. All right, so that's done. Then back to blue, but first we reveal the new card. Okay, so I have this one here, but there's no red one that I can already uh, attach to her. Unless of course I put her underneath. So I could actually do this one that would fit here. That would become a couple. Uh, although couples have to be adjacent like this, I think. So no, they can't actually sit like this, but very important rule, you cannot have three of them next to each other. All right, I didn't say that earlier, but I'll edit it in. So if you have three of them, it's a crowd and you end up with zero points. So I think I'm gonna take this one, or maybe this one is even better. Yeah, I'm gonna spend my vouchers. Here you go, one, two, three. Obviously you wanna put it so people can still see what's actually on there. And pup. So I'll take this one. 
and that'll get me one loved one. So you can see, you want if you want, you can have two men, two women, it doesn't matter. In this case, they're here. Um, these two people, uh, do they match up? Whatever. And then we have grandpa here, and another grandpa there. And then uh, bold of you to assume they have ch children, or whatever. And then we have two friends, one of them with the glasses next to the sleeping grandpa. And then this lady here, who is like looking over the grandpa like, why are you so angry or annoyed? Okay, done. Back to Green, who now has a chance to get some more vouchers. And also is maybe looking to uh, get some more rugby players, but that's going to be difficult because it's actually quite difficult to do. Um, yeah, I think she's going to take this one and start messing with the middle. So take this here, get one friend, put her here. Then we have two rugby players next to it. Well, wow, one is a mascot and one is asleep. Then we also have one child. So in this case, actually, I'm going to move them over one spot. So the child can be completely surrounded. Oh, and she has a little cow. Ah, how cute. And then we have another elderly here who is looking very annoyed. Yeah, seems realistic. All right. So then a new one comes out. There we go. And then it's back to blue. And I think blue is going to go for this because it gives you some freedom. But then the elderly wants to have an aisle seat. It doesn't really, sorry, a window seat. It doesn't really fit here unless we try to put some elderly here as well. The other one is blue. They don't have any blue yet. So I think they'll go for it anyway, just to get some uh, of their... Uh, vouchers back so we have one sports player who wants to be in the middle so we'll put him here and then we have one elderly who wants to be next to a window seat uh, we're going to put this person next to here in the corner there you go grumpy as well also yeah okay so done back to green Let's see what Green's going to do. Um, there's two friends here, but doesn't really... Oh, it does work out here, though. It fits nicely here, actually. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. You know, I'm not, I'm not a fan of overthinking everything, so I'm just going to take two friends and a loved one. So someone who's in love, actually. So he goes there. And then the two friends yeah, with book. And then super scared. Okay. <laughs> All right. So there's these three. That fits nicely. And then it is the blue player again for another turn. Uh, so this is yellow in the middle and a child at the aisle seat. So well, I think that's just okay. So this has two loved ones, but also two elderly, but also a child. It's the child that makes it difficult, but I could fit this onto here. I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'll have a child here. The child will be here. He's nice. He's quiet. So it won't annoy the elderly. And then next, so I don't know if I put the child here, it's going to clash with this one. So I should put the child here underneath her and then She's sitting next to grandpa and above her is another grandpa. Basically they're twins, except they have different skin color. Or maybe one just was under the sun for too long. Uh, although maybe they're quite both quite dark. Okay, whatever. And then we have two loved ones. There's a guy here and there's another guy here. They're wondering where their women are, I guess. Or, or not, you know, could be anything. All right, so this goes here. Up. Up. Boom. All right. So it's another child. Uh, I don't want to have children at the moment. I already have three. <laughs> so this one has a friend in the middle that would fit here and a child at the aisle, which would fit here. 
I'm going to do this. So there's a lot of vouchers anyway. So we're going for this. It's a friend and a child. The child will go here. So aisle seats. It's crying like crazy. And the friend will go here. Oh, but then the loved one can't have anyone. Okay, that's, that's annoying. Um, yeah, well, I can still put it here and the child here. It's still an aisle seat, right? Yeah. Yeah. That way I can still put someone there. Uh, hop. It moves up. Oh, wow. Two children there. Blue. Um, let's see. I have a child here. And two. I think if I do like this. No, no, I was going to do like this, but then they attach here. Three's a crowd, so that's not a good idea. Um, how about two blue ones? We put a child here, then a guy here. Yeah, okay, I'll take this one. So I have to put one here, but then I get this one back. I'll play this card, which puts a child here. It's also screaming, this girl. And then there's two uh, rugby players. One here, who's thinking, what am I doing here? And then this guy who's ready to go, even though there's no game on. And then there is a granny who's in love. Yeah, okay. And that goes here. And then, um, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, green's turn. Ooh, wow. That's interesting. Okay, so I think green's gonna go for this just because it's a point as well. And they still have all this that they haven't used. So they're just gonna say, you know what? I'm gonna populate the right side with this loved person. Person who's, oh, let's do it like this. So this person goes here. And then two friends and a child. The child is here, who's asleep or whatever oh, no no it's just looking back at the lady with the with her purse well that's with the other way around the lady is here looking like why are you looking at me child and then here is the other girl cool Hop, boom 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 new one there we go and it's blue again wow um all right so a lot of people in love here if i put him here then there'll be a child here, and then this one will be replaced. But of course, then I do have two couples. Yeah, but I'm not gonna do that. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I don't wanna mess with the elderly. You know, leave them alone. So this one is basically a cross. It's gonna be very difficult. To, like this is this is already getting in trouble. I feel. <laughs> uh, how about here? It'll be this, this, and a child. Yeah, that works. Okay. So two loved ones. Let's see who she's in love with. She's in love with, well, a young guy. You go, Cougar. And then this woman here is looking at the football player, but she's actually there with someone else, but we don't know with who yet. And then here's the baby. So the old lady is looking at the baby. Why are you crying? Okay, so next one comes out for green. And it's interesting because that's another uh, person who's in love, who sits in the middle, and then, bless you, another uh, romantic person who's in the middle, and then a child at the edge. So romantic in the middle, I could put it here. A child on the edge, um, maybe here or here. But do I want to spend three just to get that? It makes life a lot easier. It puts more pressure on uh, green. So yeah, let's do that. So a loved one and a child. The child is at the edge. So let's put it here, actually. It's going to be easier to fill. And then a loved person in the middle. I could actually put it here. But I'm going to mix it up with here. Oh, there we go. First gay couple. Oh, no, no, it has to be in the middle, right? Yeah. Oh, here we go, yeah. But then this is... I, I kind of want to keep them together, even though it's the biggest group. Uh, in the middle. Yeah, you know, there we go. Gay couple, why not? There we go. Next. Hey, don't blame the player. 
playing the game, eh? If it's if that troubles you. All right, and here is the blue player. Um, I think. Wow, this is really impossible. I don't see that in any way. This one is just a line down. We can do that. We can do that, but it's not gonna make sense. But I could flip it though. I could flip it. I could flip it. Put it like this. Uh, it's not good either. Maybe this one. Um, be good if this is an elderly, but that doesn't seem to be possible. Uh, what if the no? No, oh my goodness. What about this one? Two friends and then a child. Wow, can I, can I not do anything? I'm gonna have to overbook someone, it seems like. Um, I guess I'll just do this one. So I'll put one here. So it's a child, two friends, and elderly. So... If I put the child here, I break up the elderly. If, if I do it the other way around, I can do it the other way around. I can just do it, do it like this. There's a child here. They're twins, kind of. And then there's a friend here who's asleep. A friend here who's just jabbing. And then here, elderly. So that group is now four, which is bigger than here because there's absolutely no group here. All right, back to green. What is green going to do? Can green have this here? Yeah, it could. But then there's two children next to each other, which is not what you want uh, at all, actually. So no, they're not going to go for this. This is just going to clog up everything. It's going <laughs> until someone decides to take the hit. Because having someone overbooked is minus two, potentially minus four. So it's going to have to be a lot of stuff on there. All right, so this is for the elderly. Um, I could do it like this. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. Put one here. I get one back. So we'll do it like this. No, like this. One, two, three. Yeah, like this. And then we're going to have uh, someone in love there. There we go. Then underneath is one of the elderly. One of the granny. And nothing. Another elderly. Here, another granny and a child. There we go. A lot of children on this flight. Well, both flights, actually. Okay. So if they can connect the elderly, then that would be good. Ah, interesting, always. A elderly in the middle, and then a friend at the window. Friend at the window would be good here. Elderly would be good there. So, time to break the bank. Up, up. Take this one. Although, no, 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 don't break the bank. Let's go for this one. Because I think, won't that be good for the elderly too? Um, no, it won't be good for the elderly. Never mind, break the bank. Okay, elderly and friend. All right, so friend's going to sit here. Makes the group now three. And then the elderly has to be in the middle. So in this group here, actually I'm going to put it here. All right, interesting. And then it's back to green. Uh, this is starting to become worth it, right? Four of them already, it's two points. Um, so these friends and a child, uh, it's very difficult to get. This two elderly and a child. Uh, does this work like this? Yeah, perfect. Okay, so put down two. One, two. Take this one. And then they'll get two elderly and a child. And it's starting to get run low. You see, there's only seven elderly left. The friends are also uh, running low. So we put a child here who's looking back at the granny. And then this one here. And this is grumpy. This one's grumpy. All right. Very, very nicely done there. Up. Oh, and this is, once again, really nice. Um, aisle seat for blue, and uh, middle one for friends. So, but, it only has one left. 
So they're just going to cave and they're going to take this, all of it, and take this one. Let's see, we have two football players, one person who's in love and two children. Now, my football players are all here. So I could do it like this, I have two football players, but then this one will be replaced and then these two will be replaced. So is there anywhere where I don't kick off two people? Because this, this looks like a really bad move actually. Maybe I should just take in a second one. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna take the second one. I know table sticks, but not today because it doesn't make sense to do this. So all these go back and actually an extra one is placed on top of it and he'll take two and take this one. And I'll do that later. Okay, so two friends and a child. At least this will be less of a uh, burden on the flight itself. If I do this, I'm going to kick off one of the elderly. It's sad, I know, but there's a friend here, there's a friend there, and then grandpa gets kicked off for a child. So one person was overbooked and it's grandpa. Okay, boom. Next is blue, oh, sorry, green. Green still has enough to avoid everything. So they're gonna pay two just to get the blue and the friend. So the friend and the uh, rugby player. Rugby player is an aisle, so I'll sit here. And the friend is in the middle. I guess just go here. Um, it's not as good as the rest, but you know. And then back to Blue, who as usual doesn't want this one. Don't really want this one either. This one I think they can make work for sure. So they're gonna spend two because it could really help them get the elderly bonus. Because like I said, stuff is starting to run out. So we have this one. So I think it's best to play like this. That means we'll have one child here and then two elderly there. I think that's the best way to do it because it doesn't go like this and like this and like this. No. Or, yeah, actually I'll do it like this. Child goes here and then two elderly go there. Yeah. You know, it'll be easier than to fill the rest up later. Up, back to green. Now, if green really wants to sabotage, I'll just take all of this. And blue is going to have to have a real problem. I think that's what green's going to do because they're only going to overbook one person if they do that. Yeah, they take three, six, and eight for this. Uh, maybe the next. No, no, not yet, not yet. So, two uh, two rugby players, one person who's in love, and two children. So obviously it's going to be here, but the question is, which one are they going to uh, kick off? Is it the friend or the child? Um, I think it has to be the friend, but then you have two children next to each other, which is a problem. So I think it has to be the child. So they'll kick off two people anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So the child is replaced with a romantic soul. The child is is gone. <laughs> and then there's two children here. And then another romantic person is kicked off. Well, another is the first one. And then you have two rugby players there. There we go. All right. So now suddenly they have the most overbooked. Okay, and it's very easy for blue to decide because it can only take this one. And that is going to hurt though, um, because that's a lot of people that they have to place. Two children, one person who's in love, and then two rugby players. So the moment we have four children left, yeah, that's the lowest one. 
So all of this, um, I think it's probably best to try to do something. But that's going to break up this. Maybe here. Is there a way to add to the football players without breaking it up too much? I'm breaking up a couple. Okay, we'll do it like this. There's one football player here. There's one football player here. So Granny sadly has to... Uh, the, the cougar has to <laughs> leave her boyfriend behind. But then we have our first lesbian couple here. And then this rugby player gets kicked off for a child. And there's another child here. Wow, okay. We really need someone here to get a lot of points. Okay. Now, good news for green. They can go for this one. Because uh, friend in the middle can go here. And then a loved one in the middle, romantic person. Well, that would be here or here. So maybe that's not that good. How about two rugby players? No, that's not going to work. Um, oh, it will if it's like this, right? Yeah, perfect. Okay, there we go for the rugby players and the romantic soul. So, not a romantic soul, the person they love. I don't know why I keep saying romantic soul. Here we go. So, oh, but that will means it becomes zero points so no let me, re let me rethink that let me rethink that it was almost a good idea uh, <laughs> so I don't want to overbook anyone they're already winning in the overbooking uh, race how about this two on the side could be for example this but then this is replaced and doesn't really give us anything. Um, yeah, I think we'll do that anyway. We're going to have to overbook. Actually, it should be better than to just take this one. Uh, get a friend and get a romantic person, a person who's in love. So this one will go here. And then this person who wants to also be in the middle will be here next to the child. And then the child is completely covered. So that's good. At least. Okay, back to blue. There's a little bit more options now. You can go all the way up to the third card. I think they will go for this. Or not, or not, or not, or not. Yeah, for blue it's pretty much all bad as well. Because they can increase their rugby team, but then they also remove the rugby team. Um, how about this? Yeah, they're gonna kick off. If we take this, we kick off the old man and the baby. But we do get the couple and the rugby players. And they already have the most anyway. Um, yeah, I don't know if that's such a, good, such a good idea. But then this one isn't much better with the kids. And then that whole mess. This one, but they can't reach it. It will fit nicely here. Yeah, really fit nicely here. But we're going to get this one anyway. Time to overbook some stuff. So, uh, double blue and the left. Uh, it's from who's, who's in love. And I think we're going to do it like this. So... Rugby football player, football player. And this, oh, but that really breaks the chain. Okay, how about this then? Person in love. Oh, another cougar couple. And uh, then these two get kicked off. The crying baby and the grumpy grandpa. <laughs> okay, so there are five now that are often booked. Okay. Back to green. Game is about to end. Okay, so green now could put a uh, person who's in love in the middle, so a couple that would fit here, and then a rugby player in the middle, which would also go here actually. Um, okay, now the, actually green could take this just to stop blue from getting it, 
a little bit of hate drafting uh, because they could do it put it here right because it would really increase their elderly it would block a child child lock up a child lock up <laughs> it would cover a child right um two children actually yeah they're, they're going for this too it's just too good for them as well sorry blue but green is taking it away from you so one child kicks off the, the other child up and then we have two elderly and a loved one so she goes here so i guess she's just all alone the one there but then this is really the section for the elderly here all right let me go here next one comes out Ah, oh, two window seats um but once again even now blue wouldn't even be able to get it so all right so they really need stuff on the edge but they're not getting stuff on the edge um yeah it's not looking good for blue huh yeah ouch um even if they take this it's just all bad isn't it um poo -poo -poo. Not really though, because if they do it like this, it could increase the friends, but then also cut off the friends with two two kids. But they're gonna go for this anyway, because the other one is uh, is too damaging. So two friends and two kids doesn't end the game yet. There's still one kid left. There's two two friends, one kid two couples a lot of rugby players and three elderly so this kid kicks off another kid this kid here kicks off a friend and there's a friend here and a friend here and this one is super duper happy yay i got on other people got kicked off especially for me and then here all right so what are they gonna do? Uh, so they have window seat a couple that will work here and a window seat child will work there. Of course, they're gonna go for the window seat. Yeah. And it's a child, so that means the game ends immediately because they started second. And it's a gay couple with <laughs> an elderly guy, <laughs> sugar daddy. <laughs> All right. So I'm revealing this, but it doesn't matter because the game ends. Everybody had the same amount of turns. So then we're going to do the score here. All right. So let's start with green. How many couples? Oh, no. The, because of the couple. Oh, that's really stupid. Uh, okay. I'll put him here. Yeah, no table sticks, but whatever. Uh, still a sugar daddy. Still a gay couple here as well. So it doesn't really make a difference. Uh, all right. So let's see five points obviously if we're playing with multiple players i don't know if we'd be so kind to each other to say it's okay or whatever so five and ten so uh ten for blue five ten fifteen okay then children that are completely surrounded sorry they're completely surrounded so it's five ten fifteen twenty 25, that's it. No, it's three points. What am I doing? Uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. 15 for green, so that's 25. And for blue, that is 3. Wow, just 3. Okay, 18. Then next one is the groups. So let's start with the elderly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven is the highest for green, which puts them on 12. So that's uh, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six is the highest. Uh, no, all seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven for blue. So that's 25. And then because the, even if you tie, you still get the double. So both of them get another uh, seven points. So it's 19 and then 12 all right well 22 sorry um and then we have the uh, friends that's one two three four five because diagonally doesn't count 
Here the highest group is 4. So green gets 4. So that's uh, 39 plus 4 is 43. And then blue gets the double. So it's 10 points. So that's uh, 32, that's 42. Okay. And then we have the rugby players, the football team. Blue has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of them. And here only 3. So 3 for green, so that's 6. And then, once again, 6 times 2 is 12. So it puts it on 54. Okay, so that's done. Um, then we are going to check one point for every two vouchers, so blue gets nothing. This is one and two, so two points for green, so they're at eight. Then you lose minus two for each overbooked, so that's minus six for green, so they're not at two. And then two, four, six, seven, minus fourteen for blue, and then they get an extra minus two because they had the most. So they go back down to 20, one, two. And then minus one for each empty seat. So for blue it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So all the way down to 26. And then for green it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So that's uh, 42 minus 11. That is 31. Uh, oh, what I'm saying it's 31 uh, minus 11. 32 minus 11. Basically, just the two. Oh, let's just do it very easy. Okay, it's minus 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I'm confused because of the 40, 20. So, in the end, we have uh, 26 for blue and uh, 20, 31 for green. Makes sense, makes sense. So green has one, so they get this nice badge because they were able to put as many people in their plane as possible and only three people got overbooked while the blue is, was overbooked supreme, uh, overbooked galore with uh, seven overbooked people, two elderly, two kids, actually three elderly, because one of them was uh, a romantical, romantically involved with, uh, most likely this guy, I don't know, <laughs> or this guy. All right, so that's basically it. That was um, overbooked. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. Probably even better with more people. Um, I think, yeah, maybe with three will be better because then at least you have a little bit more to see. But then you'd use the same uh, uh, plane though. With four, it might go. It might be more difficult to plan because the cards might uh, move faster. Um, also, the fact that if you take the card, uh, if you make it more complicated, right, and then you can use the the top actions on the left, that probably makes it a lot easier. Especially for this one, makes actually makes it easier. Uh, also, they can go across. I think these actions in the top left corner make it make the game a little bit easier. It's more forgiving. The fact you can go over aisles will make it easier. The fact that you can decide to ignore a passenger makes it easier. Um, the fact that you can uh, basically kick someone out, but then just goes back to the hangar also makes it easier. Uh, so I think those extra things make it easier. These cards now in retrospect, I don't know necessarily if they make it a lot more difficult like this one would have been really good for blue i think it just depends on how you have uh, placed your uh, people already so far right yeah i think it gives you less wiggle room because it, it has to be like this you can't do it like this oh no, you can go over the aisles all of these so yeah maybe it's a little bit less wiggle room that's possible um and then the events I guess, yeah, people are just going to go for specific things, right? Family vacation has to be like this or like this, right? Uh, or kids gone wild. So I guess that means a kid that is not being uh, surrounded. So if you're not surrounded, you get minus two, I guess. Low season blues. So basically uh, splitting them up. Beautiful sunsets. Uh, it has to be a couple next to the, well, a couple, a, a combination of the two 
next to the uh, window and yeah, stuff like that so i guess all of that together would make it a little bit more challenging but then again not that much solo wise i guess gives you more of a of an aim if you play the game solo like i said with the uh different scenarios and I also say beginner six vouchers experienced four expert two vouchers to really you know make sure if you win because with these scenarios the player wins the game if the conditions of the scenario have been met and loses if there are no more dinner vouchers left so these okay um okay so uh, apparently those dinner vouchers have a specific have a different kind of use for example you choose one of the four cards um but you don't give the dinner vouchers it's only when you want to remove one remove a card from the, from here you spend a uh, voucher okay cool anyway yeah so do i like it yeah i do it's, it's really pretty it's really cool to mix them especially the couples um also their reactions how they look at each other and so on how the kids are looking back like oh, what are you doing all that kind of stuff i like it it's uh it's definitely going to stay in the collection because i can play this with many people it's so easy to, to explain right i can use this at school with students as well i'm sure um and yeah it also just looks really pretty you know solo wise i don't know if i'm going to play it that much i mean maybe i will because it is a challenge and you have the different ex like technically if you play all three scenarios for with all three difficulties then you have nine games that you can do right you can i'm sure there's also custom made scenarios or whatever um but yeah yeah i know i like it it's um oh what what negative can i say about it well it's not crazy strategic you know you're always a slave to what's here i think with the gameplay that we just had you can say you can decide when you're trying to get the, the, the bad card to get all these um it reminds me a little bit of uh jaipur where you have to des you have to decide when you go for the camels and when you don't if you get that reference jaipur is a very good game but yeah it's all about that you know when you when are you going to get these dinner vouchers when are you going to swallow the bitter pill and kick people out of your plane of course the moment when someone has some people are uh, overbooked it gives you the freedom to over also overbook as long as you don't have too many of them and don't get the extra minus two but even minus two is kind of a meager uh, extra punishment you know it's not like it's uh, double the, the overbooked ones but yeah yeah it's uh it's a cool game. It's fun. I like the puzzle. I like the the way the cards will change up if I play next time. Next, I would honestly they say in the rule book, don't play with this yet because it will get too complicated. I don't think so. If you're if you're an experienced gamer, if you're used to playing board games, then just immediately play with the top left icons. It's it's maybe what five minutes extra explanation. And maybe you repeat it again when the game just starts. Okay, remember this card does that. This card also does that. So people know. But I would immediately start off with that because it actually makes the game easier. It actually gives you more options. So I would play with that. Uh, I would definitely play with that. Yeah. yeah. I don't have anything else to say. <laughs> I think that's it. All right. So that's me. I was Joachim. I always will be. So Summer Games Real Time. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.